Questioning is the door of knowledge. Julius A. Zambori has a deep love of learning and a keen analytical mind. As a young adult, his questioning nature focused on understanding the world, people, and how society works. He longed to travel and seek out the answers. In 2000, Julius moved from his home in Hungary to Canada and opened the door to a new life. Canada was an old dream because uh, I wrote my PhD on public policy and public finance and I studied international experiences including Canada and I found it very attractive as a place to live, theoretically. With a PhD and a chartered accountant designation from Hungary and several years of senior management experience in leading organizations, as well as a research fellow at Yale University in the U.S., Julius hoped to find employment in Toronto, but he first had to overcome the language barrier. I was a man of the world, words in Hungary. With my speaking ability, I gave lectures for hundreds of students, wrote university textbooks, used in Hungary now, uh, and it was a kind of disablement here, losing one of my legs, one of my most important legs, the speaking abilities. As soon as Julius was capable in English, he began to apply for jobs. My so social status will never be the same as it was in Hungary, because I was 33 when was appointed to the Board of Social Security of Hungary and 35 when I was the board member of the largest Hungarian bank. So uh, having this career, uh, I think it just cannot be repeated here. It was clear, so I just wanted to be a simple financial analyst living here. Months passed with no responses to the numerous job applications. Without a job and with no credit history, he had trouble renting an apartment and obtaining a credit card. With employment still eluding him, Julius began to analyze his situation and looked for help. I searched the internet and, uh, and I found uh, a name skill for change. Julius opened another door. At Skills for Change, he joined the employment-focused, sector-specific information and counseling program targeted for internationally trained professionals and enrolled in the intensive course specifically designed for foreign-trained accountants. For more than six weeks, he studied about accounting as practiced in Canada, learned accounting software, and job search techniques. Skills for Change taught Julius the skills to market himself and develop his network. These skills paid off when he took the initiative to research and prepare a report on cybercrime and money laundering. In building his network, the report became a useful tool when he contacted the Hungarian-Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Julius was brought along by one of our members to the meeting. And uh, when I chatted with him, uh, he was telling me about his background and that he was looking to get, uh, get started in Canada. And uh, he's got uh, very good educational uh, qualifications and he had uh, interesting experience in many different countries but he had really no contacts in Canada. So he spoke to many of our members and as luck would have it I had uh, a good colleague in Ernst & Young that was interested in this kind of uh, analytical work. He has certainly demonstrated to me that he has a, um, a superior intellect and uh, has been very helpful to us in analyzing some fairly complex problems. It requires a very aggressive intellect to go search for evidence to support hypotheses or allegations. And, uh, and Julius brings that capability. After 16 long months, Julius found employment. Even though Julius is now settled in Canada, the memory of those first few years is fresh. He hasn't forgotten the help he received from Skills for Change. Julius is committed to giving back to the community. He volunteers as a mentor for the Skills for Change Mentoring for Employment program, where he guides newly arrived foreign trained accountants to meet their employment goals in Canada. Not surprising, there are other dimensions to Julius. He has a love of music, from Beethoven and Tchaikovsky to Leonard Cohen and Queen. In Hungary, he was a semi-professional basketball player and a leader of the regional championship team. 
Now he enjoys watching his favorite team, the Sacramento Kings. Two of his daughters, Blanca and Luca, have joined him in Canada and are both attending university. He's very nice, he's supportive and he likes to listen to our ideas and uh, he's always there when we need him. Well, I'm very proud of him <laughs> because I think he deserves it because uh, he's such a great person and uh, he really worked a lot to achieve but, uh, but he just made it. I mean, to get this job and to settle in Canada and to change his whole life around with courage.